Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. New background in my living room today. Dining room is occupied. Um, you can find my Poshmark closet and my eBay store in, in the description below. Okay, if you want to check out anything, excuse me. Mm. Um, I have a huge, there it is. I have a huge 40 piece haul for you today. And these are all things that I've thrifted in this past week. I had a very good week actually. And I'm going to show you some few things in front of me, which are just some shoes and hats and things. And then I'm going to get into this big clothing haul with some really cool treasures. So let's hop into it. So let's start with some granny panties. So these are by Cusseek, and obviously I'm not into the panty business, but these are new with tags, and these are sold by Lane Bryant, and they are a full brief, size 26, 28, which is a three to four X, and they are new with tags. And so I paid $1, they retail for about 15, and I will probably get 10 to 15. So a good little profit there. Next I have a pink hat. Uh, there was actually two of them, <laughs> keeping one for myself. And they're very good size hat feel cute nice and it's just a here it is that is the brand which is ace ace caping with a little eagle there um and i pay a dollar for these hats caps and i'll put her up for 15. okay here's a little mario little embroidered new embroidered new with tags mario cap okay and it's adjustable and it is a good size Perfect for any gamer in your life. And so let's see. There we go. There's the tag on that. All right. Last night, I was sourcing with my daughter, and she found these little gems. They are from 2022. They are the Nikes uh, Vapor Pro. Very, very stylish. Really, really cool pattern. Like new. Look at it. Oh, and there it goes on the floor. <laughs> Anyways, yes. So it's their purple and blue. All right, and then I have the, um, this is a brand that sometimes it sells, sometimes it doesn't. Did I say I spent $5.99 for the shoes? <laughs> um, these are called the Gentle Soul, Gentle, ugh, can I talk? Gentle Souls by Kenneth Cole. They are a mall brand. They are real leather, which is nice. It's a nice blushy pink. Zip up the side, buckle, and that's what they look on the back. Sometimes you see this little Sharpie. And uh, a magic eraser gets it off. I'm not even sure who puts it. I don't think it's the thrift store that puts it, but who's to say? Okay, now let's just drop in to this haul. So let's see, I'm gonna walk and I'm gonna grab a few pieces. All right. So this first is a Lands N plus size um, bathing suit tankina. Just the top, and you could pair it with any black shorts or a black swim bottom. Modest, has the built-in cups. Definitely will accommodate a double or triple D. Oh, there we go, look at that. Size 16, triple D. So if you are a plus size 16 and you have a triple D chest, this is for you. Navy. All right, next I have a Spanx. This is what it looks like. It is a 1X Spanx, and people wear these underneath their bra, and it just snatches in the waist because it has these little boning. They're very stretchy. They're very, very stretchy. And this is a 1X, which will fit a 40 to 44 inch waist. Of course, it will snatch it in, but that's what people use those for. If you have a body contrast or such, this is a new to me brand. I picked it up because it was new with tags. And color is glassier and it's called Wild Root Spirit Crafted by Design, $61. Very lagging look with these little pearl, oops, these little pearl buttons. I like it myself, it's like a slate blue sweater, but here in North Carolina, we don't have too long of sweater weather. So I will not be keeping it. It is, look at that, silk and cotton, size large. All right, I'm gonna hang these back up and move on. If there are any resellers watching my channel, please comment below so I can check out your channels or your stores. Okay, this is the piece a la resistance. 
gorgeous, stunning runway couture, $1,000 dress. Picked it up for $5.99. Bodycon, no slits, would be beautiful as a bridesmaid. And here is the tag. New to me brand. I picked it up not knowing and asked my daughter, who is like a whiz at all brands, and she was telling me, grab it. Grab it or she would. So that's, it's beautiful. It's like 64 inches long and um, it has a 36 inch bust and a 28 inch waist. And that sizes it because there is no size, runway couture, that sizes this dress at a size six. So I don't see any alterations that were not made. And it is a raw hem in case you um, want to get it hemmed. Beautiful, I mean, it's just, this coral color is stunning, stunning with the rose. It's, it's even right on trend. One shoulder is trending. These rosettes are trending. It's just gorgeous. Can't say enough about it. Love it. Okay. Next, we have some pants. Jeans, jeans, and pants. So the first item is linen. I love, 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 love picking up linen, size 12. Haven't removed the tags yet. And this brand is Banana Republic Wide Leg, size 12. Banana Republic Wide Leg, size 12, linen trousers. They tie, they also have a clasp and a button. So when something's wide and wispy like this, you pair it with a more fitted tank, white tank or white t-shirt, and you look fly. Gorgeous. Okay, so now let's get into the jeans. So these jeans are, Harley Davidson, size eight, and they are the Harley Davidson size eight tall. Very long inseam, which looks about a size 36. Front back. All right. Next, we have a flax plus size skirt, which if it was my size, I would be keeping. Flax retails for a lot of money. It also sells really good if it's plus size. It is a size 3G, which is their 3X, and it is a navy blue with pockets, and it probably retailed for about 248. Paid five, and I will put it up for probably 60. Take an offer. Okay, let's hang them back up. Trying to be a little more profesh. Okay, so, alrighty, the next batch of jeans are Paige, okay? Paige retails for, I think, close to 200. They used to sell better than they um, do. They're kind of like, if you like Mother, a Goldie, you'll like Paige. It's kind of the same type of crowd. Size 27 inch waist, um, small little zipper. So it's probably about 11 inch rise. And I found several pairs of these, all right? The next one are Paige as well, size 27. And on the style, you could usually find the style on the fabric tag underneath here. It says the style. And you just uh, Google the style, the style name and number, and you could probably find them being um, modeled. So again, that's what they look like. And this was awesome. These are the first time I ever found Lululemon Men's. 30 inch waist, and this is how, what the tag looks like. 30 inch waist, um, gray, extremely well made, but um, inseam looks like maybe only a 28 or 29. I usually put measurements anyways, but I was happy to find them gray. Next, we have some wispy purple velour, and they do have pockets. Drawstring waist, wide leg, that really pretty shimmery plum color. Um, this brand is just called Earl Size Large. So just boutique, but I thought they were pretty enough to pick up. Okay, take them and moving right along. We're doing good. Okay. All right, so what's a haul without some bras? First one is Cassique. Nope, take that back. 
It's Soma, Soma size 40C. It's the embraceable full coverage. Green Soma. I paid $2.49 per bra. I sell them for about 20. These are both Old Navy 4X Racerback sports bras. And I will probably lot them together. And this is what the Old Navy Power Soft, which I absolutely love, love, love the Power Soft line. It's what I use at the gym to work out in for leggings. It's really, really cool. So I got those three bras. Okay, so this is a new to me brand. Um, it, it's all, it's called Teddy Fresh, really cool. Um, very Gen Z with a hoodie, it's like substantial. They sold um, at the website Urban Outfitters for $110, or you can still purchase them from the Teddy Fresh website for the same cost, pockets. And it was it's really cool. Now it does have an imperfection. I already washed it, and I don't think the imperfection came off, or maybe it did. I'm not seeing it. There was a little bit of red dye that I did stain treat, but which I don't see now. But anyways, that's what she looks like, and I'll probably put her up. Retails for 110. I paid five. Keep in mind, Posh and eBay take a 20% commission, so I'll probably list it for 50. That's what the tag looks like. It's a size XL. Cool. Alrighty. Um, in case you're wondering, I don't sell tank tops or shorts. I used to. I used to pick them up, but they're the same cost as long sleeves and sweaters, but they'll only sell for like half the cost and time is money. So I don't usually pick them up. I used to. I still have a few in my closet. So if I'm going to be spending $5 for a pair of pants, I want to get $30 to $40. But if I would buy shorts, still the same cost, $5, I get maybe 12 to 18. And keep in mind then 20% commission that eBay and Poshmark takes, your time processing, taking pictures, steaming, laundering, and all that. It's just not worth it to me. Okay, so that's why you're still seeing kind of wintry type things. First is a Plum Chico's Travelers, which me and my daughter absolutely love this. It's a size three, which is their XL. Um, I think I have one of these in black currently, and I just sold two last week in a tan color. Bell, three quarter inch sleeves. And these travel, I mean, hence Chico Travelers, they travel really good. Look at that. Okay, so it's like a tunic length. So it's a nice longer length, about 34 inches. So it's going to color your color. It's going to color your bum. It's going to cover your bum. Um, it's just a really nice piece. Next, I haven't, I'm still debating whether I want to keep this for myself because I love this boho vibe. And it is Newport News. Does anybody, any of my 80s babies remember Newport News or 70s babies? I remember my mom going crazy for Newport News in the 80s and she would buy some of my school clothes there. Genuine suede, again, I spent five and it's really, really cool, so boho. I picture this with a some sort of broomstick skirt or a denim skirt with a little tank underneath, substantial piece and that's what the tag looks like. If you remember getting the catalogs as a child, I would get excited. <laughs> I mean, my mom would look through them together. Newport News, okay. Next is, oh, let's grab three pieces. Guitar like purple, right? Doesn't everybody? So this is Lauren Ralph Lauren, size XL. And it is a definitely a winter piece, a velour, long tunic, very substantial. You wanna put velour and velvet in the title. Velvet, which this is, is more of a luxe feeling. It's kind of a heavier, where velour, um, those purple pants that I showed you, by Earl that were just boutique brand those were velour so they're not they're not as heavy and buttery as real velvet okay so this just has a little keyhole neck pretty purple tunic and did I say the size is XL again if anybody is interested in any of these items they are in my Poshmark and eBay closet um which it, you could be you could find the link direct link in the description because I'm allowed to link now how about that Okay, next is a legging look, short sleeve, size large. It's by Click, and it is Click by Color Me Cotton, made in the USA, 100% linen, and I really, really love these little coconut shell buttons. 
one big pocket, slouchy, beautiful, and in the back, more buttons, just for looks. So very lagon look, artsy, contemporary, that type of vibe. And next is a Adidas, everybody knows that. And it is a size 3X Adidas. If this was a smaller size, I would be keeping it for myself. Cuts a great casual piece to wear with your leggings to work out or run errands. So that is the, that is those three, four pieces. Getting down there, folks. Thank you if you are still with me. Try not to take too long. All right. So next is a J. McLaughlin. Um, my daughter actually taught me taught me this brand as she does with many brands. This is a J. McLaughlin um, blouse and um, all J. McLaughlin blouses are not created equally. The ones that sell the best are made out of this fabric, which is called Catalina cloth. And it's almost, it almost feels like swimsuit fabric, okay? So when you are sourcing, if you're a sorcerer or a thrifter and you find a J. McLaughlin, feel the fabric. And if it feels like swimsuit fabric, you probably have a piece of their Catalina cloth, which travels well because it doesn't wrinkle. So again, you could travel with this and let's see what the fabric actually is. Okay, so it's 9% spandex and 91% nylon okay so that's why it's not wrinkling there's no rayon cotton or linen in it and did i say the size the size is xl and i should be able to get about 40 bucks for it okay so the next piece which is really really cool and i found this little gem locally at our thrift the brand is not desirable at all it's alfred dunner a vintage really nothing brand I hate to put that but it's 100 polyester again nothing good but look at the pattern the pattern's amazing um i don't know if they're horse saddles or watches pocket watches but this pattern sells well no shoulder pads but this i'm thinking with a denim jeans kind of western country western denim jeans and a belt your hair in a ponytail and you are rocking the style. So that's why I picked that up. That is a size 42 slash 22. That's a vintage 80 size that the back in the 80s, they would make instead of like women's sizes, two, four, six, eight, ten. They used um, 18, 32, 36, 42 and such. OK, now we have get back in there beautiful pink one-piece swimsuit very very flirty and pretty with the eyelet lace this is gorgeous again if it was nice I'd probably keep it it's so pretty um and it's by Lanzan again a very good substantial brand and it is a size 22 it looks new looks and feels new one piece adjustable straps and their little logo okay all right, moving right along, guys. My goodness. Okay. All right, so now we have Torrid. And it's just, I, I usually don't pick up Torrid unless it's new with tags and current. So this is a Torrid size three, which is the 3X, 22, 24. It looks like maybe someone got it for Christmas and didn't care for it. And it just has these pretty, um, red yellow green and blue stripes down the shoulders a pullover and yeah just your a basic piece and um i probably won't get more than 25 dollars for it but it probably only retailed for about 40. all right next is a dress that i picked up for myself but when i tried it on it looked like a maternity dress so you could use it as a maternity dress for sure. So it's an XXL and it's by H&M. Didn't retail for a lot, but it's very, very cottage core and whimsical. And if you were taking maternity pictures, I think in like a beautiful field full of daisies or flowers, this dress would be for you. So it's just a simple pullover moo type and uh, elastic three quarter sleeves. Again, I tried it on, I belted it, I tried to make it work and now people would be asking me when I'm due. So that is that dress. And next is a J. Jill linen, little T-length line dress. 
I don't always pick up J. Jill because it doesn't sell the way it used to, but it is bread and butter. Bread and butter. <laughs> the lining's 100% cotton. The outside is linen. It's an XL. It's a really pretty colors, blue, green, and um, a bunch of embroidery. And it looks like maybe a 30, who 38 inch length, 38 inch to maybe 40. And uh, J. Jill dresses, they're substantial, they wash and wear well, and they do retail for over 100 if you go to their website, which is crazy. So I'm hoping to get about 40 for that piece. And next is another dress by Lanzan. It's a 3X, size 24, 26. It feels like velvet again. <laughs> and it is a midi length pullover A-line style dress. Okay. Next is 100% nylon. These don't sell well. I'll probably only get 20, but they're so pretty, I can't leave them behind. This is Fundamentals Woman, size 3X, 100% um, nylon, kind of like a baby blue slash periwinkle. Um, right below the knee it hits, and I am 5'8", and it hits about four inches below the knee, so if you are 5'5", 5'4", it will probably be right above the ankle. So there's that. And um, what's really great and kind of corny is that when you sleep in a nylon like this or satiny, nylon is more breathable than satin because satin tends to get sweaty at night. But the great thing about this fabric is that it's easy to, uh, if you sleep on your back side and you do a lot of flopping around like a fish, it's easy. It's easy to just in the middle of the night not use any effort and just move positions because it's so slippery. Not that you need to know that, but... Okay, so next we got the last few things. Okay, now we have 100% silk XL Talbots cream colored three quarter sleeve uh, little pop over. And I'm debating whether I wanna keep this for myself. It's 100% silk, it's really pretty. Probably retailed for about 80 from Talbots. So we'll see about that. Now this was also mine. And it is a two-piece set. It is a, let's put those right there. It would have been beautiful for Easter, goodness. So this is all smocking. This little dress is just an Amazon dress, XXL. Um, and it's probably about a, goodness, maybe runs uh, like a 16, 18. And then this little, oh, look how beautiful with the little rosette. So, and then this is a Catherine Dean of New York. It's vintage, it's size 22, but because vintage, it runs a couple of sizes smaller, like most vintage. And so I just paired them together. It's tiered and I kind of want to sell them together. Um, it's just beautiful, look at that. Three rosettes. I mean, it's just gorgeous with your little sandals. Oh, beautiful. Okay, next is a little red Cardi. I really love this color this year. Every year, I kind of like cling to one color and then just wear it the whole year until I get bored. This is a Melrose Chick, size XL, little red Cardi with little matching snaps. It's adorable and you can use it as a shirt. Okay. Next was something else I took out of my wardrobe. It's an XLP Petite. Um, it's just like a really nice neutral color and it has the ruching, which is always complimenting to any figure and um, it's just too big for me now but uh, I did wear it a lot last year and it still washes and wears really well. Ribbed, which is very flattering to the uh, body and the sleeves are really cool. It's just, it is a nice shirt. It's, I like it. <laughs> don't want to keep it? No, I don't keep it. Okay. Okay, last three pieces, guys. Okay. This is a gorgeous dress, which I would still keep if it fit. It's too big. Me and my daughter had gotten matching ones, I believe, last year. And this is a 18W, 18 wide, women within, plus size, um, semi-sheer, but not really if you have black undergarments. It has pockets, easy breezy, and just kind of flowy. And yes, can't really say too much about it, but it's really cool. The coloring is nice. I really like black and white this year too, which is, don't know why, have no idea. Last two pieces, guys, and these are probably the gems of the show, and I will probably get the most um, profit. So this is a um, Adrian Papel Boutique Evening Vintage. Look at that scalloped. I think I actually sold this one before. And does it zip up the back? Yes, it does zip up the back. Beaded, um, 80s and 90s. You know when you go out to a fancy restaurant, 
Um, or I think of like a beautiful cruise walking in to the dance floor. <laughs> do people still do that? I don't know. Okay, so this is a shirt. It's heavy, it's all beaded. And the fabric is 100% silk. How about that? Last all beaded, full length beaded dress. Vintage, and it is by, this brand sells really well because they are no longer making it, Lawrence Kazer. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name for anyone who, who wants to comment, 3X. But this one is 100% polyester and rayon blend. Oh, lining is rayon, 100% polyester, 3X. Okay, so it is a full length, but look at the bottoms, how jagged they are. It's gorgeous, and it's really hard to find them in plus size like this. Even if they're not plus size, they do sell, but plus size sells better. I will probably put this little drum up for 100 and take an offer um, on the lower side, 60. So 60 to 70, matching jagged sleeves. I want to wear it, but I can't. Okay, so that is it. And, um, oh, you know what? Oh, the perfume that I'm wearing today? Well, certainly, it's a blast from the past. 90s Clinique Cappy. Can you just, it smells like 90s. Like, this is a 90s girl. It just smells so good. And a little story time. When um, I first started going to church, there was a lady that smelled amazing, and I would constantly pass her and think, oh, wow, she smells amazing. One day I asked her what she was wearing, and she said, Clinique Cappy. And, and uh, I was influenced back then, and I went out and bought it. This is not the same bottle. This is probably the third bottle of, that I've had of it. But does anybody remember Clinique Happy? Comment below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, my goodness, this video is almost 30 minutes. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.